I had to listen to the ladies of Fragcom. I dropped the video letting you guys know that Prada Luna Rosa Black was listed in almost every video that I saw. So I ran out to Sephora and picked it up yesterday. So let's unbox this joint and give it a first impressions, first smell of Prada Luna Rosa Black to see if all the ladies of Fragcom are onto something. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can unbox this puppy and maybe rediscover, or at least me discover, this new fire hype. Bless you, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3 U3 V3 A. Just letting you guys know that the pre sale for the influence line is coming soon. These are amazing real deal heavy sweaters. This is gonna be my new line. It's called the Influence line because everybody gets influenced somehow, some way in every form of life or you do the influencing. If you follow my jewelry channel, you already know we got the 3M reflective wrist profile so you can show off your piece and everybody knows what time it is. We're talking about 100% organic cotton that can withstand up to 50 degree weather and these side pockets. When you've seen a crude neck with side pockets, fam, coming soon, if you're interested in this drop, let me know, leave it in the comments below, reach out to me on Instagram, and I'll give you more details for you guys to jump on the pre-order list for the Influence lineup. See that 3D rubberized fit? Prada Luna Rosa Black. I was trying to do like a little skit action in Sephora, but the shorties there were not having it, so, you know. It is what it is. Not everybody understands my sense of humor or my obnoxiousness, so we're gonna try it out firsthand. Sadly, they didn't have a tester at Sephora right there on the spot where I could have smelled it, but in another way, I'm happy about it because we get to experience it firsthand together. Prada Luna Rosa Black. First, let me look up the notes because I didn't look up the notes of this joint either. All right, so the notes are listed as bergamot up top, angelica patchouli, coumarin, amber, and musk. Seems very simplistic and to the point, but let's see how hyped this shit is. Again, I mean, the women of Fragcom really stood by this fragrance, so it has to be good. If the ladies say it's good, it has to be good. Now, do I agree with all the ladies? There's only one way to find out. So here's the actual bottle presentation. It comes with a little cap protector. We just ripped that puppy right off. And let's just jump right into it. I wanna see what the hype of this shit is about. Maybe I'm put onto a Prada that I'm really into. Like I used to have the other Luna Rosa joint. And now currently this would be the only Prada Luna Rosa that I have in my stash. So let's see if this black joint is lit. It is very nice, very creamy. Slightly milky, nutty, like sweet, creamy almond ice cream. Seems to have a little dryness, like a vetiver kind of essence. And although it wasn't listed in the notes, I am picking up like a suede type materialish smell. It is very nice. It is very nice. It is a good scent profile. I get it. But it's not very distinctive. Like I get the sweet nuances, like it's not unusual or unique but it is very nice. Definitely worth it to try it on skin 100%. Wow, this is, yeah, the ladies of Fratcom know what they like, man. Listen, I like to be put on to shit all the time, so this could be something that I could definitely pull off. Let's see how it smells off of my skin, though. Doesn't smell like it's much of a pop of performance off the test strip, but we'll see what it does off the skin, but so far the scent profile, I'm feeling it. It's very nice. It is a very nice scent profile, but it feels light. It feels light off of my skin. It felt light off the test strip, but off the skin, it also feels a little bit lighter. Let me do like an actual three sprayer, give it a couple of seconds. Like I'm not getting much of a big sillage cloud around me at this moment. Mm, yeah, I'm getting shit, but it ain't crazy. Scent profile is very nice though. It's a dry, suede slight vetiver, milky, creamy, almondy or hazelnut kind of consistency that I get from this joint. It's sweet, almost sticky, smooth, but it does feel a little close to the skin for me. Not that I wouldn't wear this fragrance, I would 100% wear this fragrance. I can see where the mystique is, I can see where the hype is. It is a very, very nice scent profile. See me, I went in with the mentality that it was gonna be something maybe blue, slightly saltish, aquatic, in that space with a punch of ambroxan that's gonna be super mass appealing and very boring. And that's not what I'm getting from this scent profile. It's actually a little rich, creamy, nutty, dry, suede kind of material, which is not listed, but Fragrantica is always accurate, right? 
it is very light. It is very close to the skin. It's very much a skin scent. It's not a big powerhouse. So for me, this would be something that I would have to spray five plus times to get people to notice this scent profile, at least off of me. I can't be agnostic. I haven't smelled that many fragrances today, but it's not something that's lingering or being super potent in the ear. But if we're talking about scent, scent profile, it is a very nice scent profile. Personally, I wouldn't want to pay, I don't like paying retail for anything anyway, but I wouldn't want to pay retail. I would definitely go the gray market route. I just picked it up because it was just accessible to me and I was easy to get into Sephora and I really wanted to see what all the hype was about and I get it. I 100% get it. It is a very good scent profile, very sexy, very mass appeal. It has an up close interaction and, and slight cuddle factor. There is an element of warmth in there. It definitely screams more dawn, nighttime kind of sexy situation. So I 100% agree. The ladies of Fragcom, they're onto something for sure. So ladies, you were absolutely right. Minus the performance factor, which I'm not getting right now off the skin, which is like three or four pumps that I did off the wrist, other than the performance, which I'm not picking up at this moment as far as first impressions is concerned, Concern. The scent itself, it is sexy, it is creamy, it is for me slightly suede-ish, nutty, There's some dry elements, but it's a very mass appealing scent profile and I, I get it. I 100% understand. So, so shout out to the ladies of Fragcom for putting me on and making me spend a hundred something dollars yesterday. Trust me, that's not the only shit I spent. That's a whole table full of shit. <sighs> Let me know what your thoughts are on Prada Luna Rosa Black. Is this the best Prada Luna Rosa out there or is there one even better than this that I need to go pick up ASAP? I love y'all mother sucks from the heart. Absolutely a ball sprayer. Again, it perform off of my skin as I want it, but I don't need obnoxious performance because I'm not a heavy duty sprayer. But the scent, very good. It's sexy. Listen, maybe I'll get my balls tickled randomly while walking in the street since this is such a mass appeal panty dropper. I will drop my panties for you. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. And don't forget, we all influence. Smooches. <laughs>